In this video, we'll go over how to publish and share the portfolio. Once you've added everything and are ready to share your portfolio, click on Preview and look through the whole thing to ensure there are no informational errors or spelling mistakes. Click on all of your buttons to make sure they link properly. Close the preview and click on Share in the top menu and Publish and Share link. The left side is your site preview. For the title, keep it simple, something like James Young Portfolio. The category should be either business or other, and we'll choose business. If you'd like, you can add your name and photo as the author, but it doesn't make a lot of sense for a business portfolio. Author information would be ideal for a blog or photography page. If you upload photos from Unsplash, like we did for the split layout contact section, the credits would automatically be added here. Because we saved and uploaded them from our computer, they're not included, so I'm going to add them in manually from the PDF. It's important to credit the photography you've used if it does not belong to you. In the Get Noticed section, I'm going to turn this function off because it's a demo and I don't want it to be featured on the Spark website. For the portfolio you build for yourself, you can decide whether or not to turn this function on or off. Some people prefer to keep their portfolio private and only accessible to people they have given the link to. Some don't mind it potentially being seen by others. Click Create Link. Once the link is generated, the site is live and can be seen by people you've shared the link with. If you make any changes to the site afterward, make sure to update your link so that the changes become live. I'll add in some text and show you what this looks like. Now that you have your portfolio, you may be wondering what to do with it. A couple of the best places to add it are in your resume near where you've listed your contact information and in your LinkedIn profile. To add it to your LinkedIn, click Add Profile section, Featured, and Links. Type or paste in the URL and press Enter on your keyboard. A preview of the link will appear and you can add in a title and description. Click Done and the link will appear below your About section. Thank you for watching and following along with this tutorial. I hope you've learned lots and feel confident in creating your own portfolio. Feel free to view our advanced tutorials on additional Adobe Spark features.